Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I will show you PHP filters. So today I'm going to show you filter sanitize. So what does sanitize do? Basically it will remove some characters or any other special character that is not allowed. So it basically sanitizes your input. So I have also created another video on how to validate your input. So you can go and watch that video also. So in sanitize filter you can see all these filters are available so now let's go and see this uh, using example so i'm going to start with uh, defining a variable let's say my var and i'm right now passing it blank after that define filter var pass my variable in that now apply filter so here i'm applying filter sanitize email so let me hold this in a variable let's say result now let me print result now let me var dump and result now pass uh, one uh, email let's say kt at the red gmail.com now let's check in browser so refresh let me just give a break in between so now you can see it's giving uh, correct email so let me just uh, add some let's say inverted comma here now if i refresh so you can see it's taking inverted comma so now let me show you in documentation that what description it's having so it says that remove all characters except letter digits and these special characters are only allowed in email so now let me add a uh, backslash in the email So now refresh now you can see that there is no backslash present in the email so that's what filter sanitize email will do because backslash is not allowed in your email so it will remove that character so next i'm going to show you is add slash so it's a basically same functionality of add slash function in php so now change input so write uh, let's say knowledge and write asd thrusters so now change filter let's say filter sanitize add slashes so now save and refresh in the browser now you can see with inverted comma there is slash added with it so this function will add a forward slash to inverted comma it's basically like escaping the string so next is number float it will only allow float numbers so let's uh, copy this and paste in our filter now change our input so in input write let's say any number so write one two three now refresh now you can see it's taking one two three now add uh, 0.86 so it's taking one two three eight six it doesn't take fraction so i have to pass a flag for that so you can see flag for fraction so i'm going to include this as a third parameter here so after number float pass this uh, filter flag allow fraction so this will now take uh, 0.86 now so let's check in browser refresh so now you can see it's taking 0.86 you can pass two more flag in this so now next one is uh, int so now let me pass number int and i'm going to just remove third option so here if i refresh you can see one two three eight six so point is removed so next is special cares so this one basically uh, encode uh, html tags and uh, characters with sky value less than 32 and it basically strip uh, or encode other special characters so let's change import so write greater less than and uh, thrusters now save and refresh so now you can see same is uh, displayed on the browser so now let me add let's say explanation mark as well so it's also same so now next is full law uh, special cache so what basically this one does is that if uh, any invalid character is present in the string that it will result in a like zero length string 
it's like uh, equivalent to HTML special cares. So now write full special cares and now refresh. So it's same as there is no invalid characters in the string. So next is filter or sanitize string. So this one basically strip tags and uh, HTML and code double and single quotes. And it also like optionally strip or encode special characters. So write filter sanitize string and now refresh. So you can see all HTML tags are stripped off. There is no HTML tag in our string now. So let me write span and uh, now refresh. So you can see it basically remove uh, HTML uh, tag here. So next is sanitize URL. So pass filter sanitize URL and in our input, write let's say one URL. I'm just passing the same URL. So now let's check in browser, refresh. Now you can see URL is printer. So what basically it does, it basically remove all characters except letter digits and uh, some special characters listed here. All other characters will be removed from this. So that's how you can sanitize your input fields. You can use all these filter sanitization options here. So you can get the desired result in which form you want your input fields to be. So that's all in this video. I have created another video on filter as well. So go and watch it. So, so if you have any doubt related to this topic, then comment down below. So thank you so much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel.